Hi all, this is Fawaz. Welcome to SharePoint World. Today we are going to do like how we can upload docu. So let me show you what are the steps we are going to follow today. So first let me open site content. So this is our IT site. So here I will create one document library. So if we go to the site contents, so new document library. We'll update like for So we'll create. So today what we are going to do is we are going to upload a document from Power Wraps to SharePoint. So let's see how we can do. Let me go to Power Apps. So this is our Power Apps. So the steps how we are going to do is like the first step we have to create a upload control. From that upload control we need to add the file. Then we have to pass the upload file to Power Automate. From Power Automate, we will create the file. So let's see how we can do this all step. So the first step is create a upload control. So let me redirect to Power Apps. So I will upload document. So here we need the control. So for that, what you have to do is like, you need to connect any of your SharePoint site. So why we are connecting to any of the SharePoint site or any of the SharePoint list? Because from there, we will get the attachment control. So we can reuse that attachment control. So I will show you how we can do. So just add any of your SharePoint site. So let me try to connect the same site. Add data, you have to select the SharePoint. So we'll search the site here. So you can choose any of the site, okay? So I'm just choosing one country site. So just connecting. It is connected. Now what you have to do is like you have a form control here. Just click on the edit form. From here, just bind your data source as country. So here just change to country. So now here you can see the attachment property. So what you have to just copy this attachment property and paste it outside. Okay, now just remove this one because it's not required. So if you go to here, you can see the form. Just delete that. Even the connection also not needed because the only the purpose is like we need the attachment control. That's the purpose we have added. So let me delete this one as well. Now here you can see some errors. So just remove that errors like it's not needed actually. You can delete this. So just remove all the errors because we took this from the form that's why we are getting some errors so if you remove everything you will get a good attachment control so if you play here you can see we have the attachment control so let me just change this one so we have one button as well like so whenever we want to upload we have a upload button as well so just let me change this to upload so by clicking the attach file, you can attach one file. See, we are successfully attached. So what's our next step? So attachment control is ready. So what's the next step? It's like whenever we are attaching anything, uh, we need to pass that data to Power Automate. So let me, what I will do like, I will just go to the Okay, so here we will create a new flow. So we have to create an instant flow from Power Apps. So let me upload doc, document. We will put the same name. So let me just create. Now, what we need, like if we click here, we have to create the file. So we just add create file. So create file. So once you select the create file action, here you can see the mandatory field. The site address is mandatory. So in our case, what is the site address? We have the IT. So I'm just selecting the IT and the folder name is, our folder name is resume. So we will select that one. So I'm just selecting resume. 
now what is the request we need file name and file content so what's our plan is like the file name and file content we will pass from power app so just me add that as well so here we have two field like file name file name and we can add like file content so we have two fields here so just me just add from here file name and the file content which we added in power app now the power app section we need to send the data from the power apps to power automate so our power automate part is done so let me just save now we will go to power apps so here what they are, whenever we click on the button we need to pass the data so how we will retrieve this data that we are going to check now so before that we will just rename the attachment control so we will give a proper name we will put like attachment attachment control power apps so if you put a label here so in the label we have put the attachment control dot attachment dot value so from there here you can see in the label if we put the attachment control so this is our attachment control dot attachment the value we are getting a blob file but we need to convert this to a base64 file so for that how we can do like so just add one image here so just insert an image property here then we have to just pass the value here because this all things why we are doing is like we need to convert this one so whenever we are doing from image we can convert easily so that's why we are added the image control then you can just change the visibility to false once your part is done just go to your upload control and write the code how we so we created one variable now variable power app attachment control so here we are just converting the data so now here you can see if we click on the button you can see the output so just let me click on the button upload so here if you go to this is our variable name so if i copy here if i paste here here you can see we have not a proper format like we only need the basic cipher only so it's contain like semicolons the data everything so we need to remove this whole thing so for that purpose what we have to do is like in the button just add one more variable like this way we can remove the other thing so now if you check here i will show you that part also so if you click on upload now let me just change this to the other variable which we created now variable base 64 data only so now if you copy here if i change this here you can see the other text all removed we are getting the proper text so now our file content part is ready now we need to pass this content from here so for that we have to call our power automate so this is all things not required now so we will just remove this only i added for showing you so just let me remove this one this also will remove so now we will call our power automate so just let me here go to your action power automate add flow just refresh so this is our flow upload document so we will add here as well so upload document so now we have to if you check here you can see like we have to pass the file name and the file content so the file name we will get from this attachment so we'll just add from the attachment so our attachment name is attachment control so first off our attachment control dot attachment dot here you will get a property like name so if you select name this i will just show you the name so if you copy here and if you just put down the label like insert a label here you can see the name of the file so that we are adding here just delete this one so now if you check here the name is there now we have to add the file content so the file content we already got from here so just pass it directly here now this part is done 
so when we just go to your power automate we have to do one more thing like so whenever we receiving here the file content we want to save to sharepoint so for that purpose we need to change the content so here we need to convert this to binary so just select here go to expression here we have to raise 64 to binary here just select that this pass our content here so our content is file content so just select that click ok so now we have added that as well now just save here go to our power app so we will just save here we will test the flow so now we have already one file source.txt so let me check upload before that we just refresh our resume folder so here the document library is empty now we are going to do like just click on upload now just go to your resume just refresh here you can see our file is uploaded successfully